Hello team, I came up with a crazy idea. <laughs> surprise, surprise, uh, here it is. Uh, I'm calling this the monorail. And believe it or not, this is a triptoron crossed with an H bot kind of. It's, it's, a, weird, it's a weird thing, but it, it's, it's really a triptoron. Uh, as you see here with um, one of the original triptorons, it um, has, as one of the steppers move or one of the motors move, um, the arm will move and it'll it'll just change the X, Y, or Z. It's really a basic Cartesian bot, uh, but with just the arms uh, linking it to the middle that make it look kind of crazy. And this one is really the same thing. It's just instead of having three rails, they're all on one rail. And the way a normal Triptron works is you have uh, three planes defined by the arms and you can move those planes around and when they where they intersect you get one point and that's where the effector will be this is the exact same thing and the reason that this is like a um, an H bot or a uh, core X uh, Y bot is okay. so here I'm moving only in the X direction so if I move the motors together there you're gonna move in the X so if I turn off the X and turn on the Y, now you can see if I turn the outside motors opposite, I move in the Y. And the Z is actually pretty straightforward. It looks um, that middle carriage moves while the other one stays stationary to get a Z uh, uh, translation. So the kinematics are really quite simple here so driving this thing's not going to be a problem so um, how am i going to actuate these arms um, probably around the back i will have uh, a series of belts or i'm thinking one belt so one belt will come along and it will come and snake around a uh, pulley um, that, that's attached to a stepper um, for each of the carriages that rides on the carriages and so I could just have one belt, one rail, tension it on the sides, and it'd be good to go. Um, one thing I don't have here is I'll put like a 2040 uh, extrusion underneath to get some rigidity. As you can see that this middle carriage is like way off to the side. I kind of want to bring it closer to the middle so I get a better use of all, all the Z height that I could do. So uh, to do that, I need to pick it up off the table a little bit more. And then on the side of the extrusions, I need something to, uh, to keep this thing from tilting over. So I'll have some legs uh, over there. It's going to be a slick little bot and probably make the legs where they can fold in and maybe figure out a way that these can detach and lay down. And in theory, all of this could be in a pretty compact little tube for transportation. So anyways, I'll put back on the animation and uh, I'll just uh, put some music on and let you guys watch it for as long as you want. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this.